<laughs> if you're just tuning in, <laughs> it's our ladies' night out. <laughs> and tonight we want to understand what it means to have a valid marriage. Apparently, a lot of us don't have valid marriages. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 So we'll open our phone lines as well. For those that want to call in, please turn down the volume of your te television set. Turn it off completely, the volume of your television set. And um, try to keep it within a minute. Thank you so much for your cooperation. All right. Um, <laughs> Lami. Hey, Lami has put me. She, 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 she's got me guessing. So, Lami, I was saying to you that, okay, for even those that have gone to the courts to get married, right? I am even hearing that some, court, some law courts are not even supposed to be the places where you're supposed to go and get married. You know, I heard that. That is not every court that you're supposed to go and, you're supposed to go and get your, uh, what's it but called? You don't get married in a court. You get married in a marriage registry. Marriage registry. But I, I, I thought so, at some point the Lagos State government shut down some of those registries saying that, you know, it was not valid, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. they were conducting marriages there. Uwa, please, can you come again? Oh, you didn't hear me. I said that at, yes. some, at some point, some of those registries, right, I hear the Lagos State government had to shut them down, but they had already conducted, conducted marriages there. So how would you even know which one is the right place to go and get married? Okay, do you want me to tell you the one that is recognized by the book? Yes. Marriage is under the exclusive list in the Constitution. So it does not rest on the state or the local government to perform or contract any marriage ceremony. Hmm. It is strictly the, within the public of the federal government. And as the federal government that has marriage districts, they, have, they already have marriage districts, which is um, whichever one falls within your district. For example, the very popular one in Lagos is the Federal Ministry, I'm sorry, Federal Ministry of Registry, sorry. Yeah. Federal Registry of my Federal Marriage Registry. Marriage Registry. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> Ikoi, yes. right? That's under the law. That is the only recognized play, um, license, uh, place of license, yeah, to get married. So all those ones performed at one local government and because all my my staff married in uh, Ogududeo. <laughs> <laughs> Who yes. married in Ogudu? My staff that registry at Ogudu. She got married there. <laughs> Let her go back to the um, marriage registry in Nikoya and revalidate her marriage. You wow. know what? When you are married, when with your spouse, if you don't have a problem, your marriage is presumed to be valid. But I have seen spouses use it against each other. Hmm. When they want to move on to another woman, they will tell you that in the, in the first place, our marriage is void. And ask me, why is it void? Because we didn't get married. Where is your form E? <laughs> your marriage certificate, right? Should be in accordance to form E of in the which schedule I can't remember in the in the marriage act. Okay, wait, let me let me because ask some you something. Churches, some churches even give you their own certificates. You will see something, something, Church of God and all that. It's not acceptable. The only certi marriage certificate recognized by law is the one emanating from the registry. Even the churches are supposed to get it from the registry. Hmm. They are not they are not getting married. In, under the laws of that church. You're still getting married under the Nigerian law or you're choosing to perform it in the church. Hmm. So they have no right to give you their own certificate emanating from their church hmm. or their denomination. Hmm. Okay, I have two questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so the first one is, um, so for people who um, got married in other registries that, um, that weren't Ikoyi registry, so let's say they go back to Ikoyi to revalidate. And um, why they did it before, they've probably been married for like four years. So when they go to Ikoyi, it starts counting from then? <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's the process of revalidation, just to give it a bit more validation. Of course, the federal government, you know there was an issue at that time, so they had to resolve it. Mm -hmm. So what they'll just do, just take the step to revalidate it, and your marriage is, so they'll start counting like, from when you got married. Oh, okay. Not, not for that day. Okay, okay so second because question. Because to do that would bring a lot of confusion. Ah. Yeah. All right. No so second question. You said that... Um... 
The couple, they need to actually get married in the church. Um, for those who decide to do beach it, probably side. the beach or um, let's say a hotel garden or something like that. Why does it have to be in a building? <coughs> You see, you have to have a you can. Job. I said earlier, I said you can get a special license Weaver, yes. from the ministry, from the registry. But if you don't have a special license, it is not employed and of no effect. Ha. Wait. <laughs> if the pastor has obtained a license, yeah, to give you the marriage certificate from the registry. What did you say? If the pastor has um, obtained a license to actually give you the marriage certificate. Why does he need to obtain a special license to do it outside of the church building? The couple, it behoves on the couple to get that special license and deliver it to the officiating minister hmm. who would fill it out Then You can now go anywhere to get married. Hmm. Ha. Okay. Okay. okay, so okay. let me... Why? Then do you know that even if, sorry, let me point this out before I forget. Even if you decide to get married, sorry, decide to dissolve the marriage, and you go to the high court of any state and the process is on, there are two stages of dissolution of marriage. There's a decree nisi and a decree absolute. So after the conclusion of the trial and all that, the judge gives his judgment. So that is decree nisi. And it doesn't become the decree absolute until three months after. During that three months, you can still decide to reconcile. So it's just an allowance for probably you decide to reconcile and all that. But the snag is, or the catch rather, is that if one of the spouses, one of the parties to that dissolution of marriage dies at that time, the other spouse is still the, is still the wife or the husband. <laughs> Until you get a decree absolute. Okay. That is the wife. It's so, Until it's the so day okay. it becomes decree absolute. Let me, it's okay. Wait, off your saying, mic. Wait, wait let wait, her off wait. her mic first. Wait. So three months, right? Before decree absolute. Huh. Yeah. So where did we get this? So during years? that three months, if one of the parties die, the other party, the other spouse is the surviving spouse. So where did we get this whole... It so if that's one place that has promised marriage divorced. in one corner, who is heavily pregnant, waiting for the divorce to come through, and the guy dies during the period, the other woman is still the rec legally recognized wife who would succeed him. Okay, so let's um, take... In the case the guy does not have a valid will. Let's and take some comments. There's something to succeed now. I mean. <laughs> let's take some comments to oh, Jehovah Shammah. All right, so let me take a comment from, I think this is from Rachel. So where do you place long-term partners who don't believe in marriage? Well, the, 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 I think the Nigerian marriage, the laws of, marital laws in Nigeria has to be overhauled. Mm -hmm. It's still very traditional it's still outdated. and very conventional. It makes no provision for common law, common law partners, uh, long-term partnership. And it does, if you are not married, you are not married. It's either you are in or you are out. So until that overhaul happens, that is the law. Hmm. So even if you spend 25 years together, it's just a tra trying to protect the sanctity of marriage hmm. and the family unit mm -hmm. so that it doesn't, it's not easy for people to go in and out. You know that under this Nigerian law, right? You cannot divorce until after two years of your marriage. You can't divorce. Mm. You so if I marry, wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. Let me. If I marry somebody today, and I realize that he's a serial killer, <laughs> so you're telling me well, that? No, under such circumstances, uh -huh. you can. But wait, you have to prove to the court that there are Good exceptional evidence. circumstances. Okay. Or what? I, what if he's not? Let's not go to the serial serial killer. What is a serial cheat? That I get married no, to him. You, you would wait for two years. Two years. But wait. Because he's just trying to protect the sanctity of marriage. To Which say that sanctity is that? Two years, want to, I'll, 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 to... I'll run mad. Wait, but this sanctity they're trying to protect. Even you if can Bible separate. Says it you now, can separate. So there is. Oh, okay. So there's room you for separation. So you can't separate. the solution of the marriage. So you have to wait two years. 
All yes. right, so marriage, yes, should be on the foundation of... Um, Marriage, yes, should be on the foundation of love, but you must ensure all legal papers are intact. <laughs> That's what Mrs. Ayola. <laughs> that is. But I'm just thinking in my head, all of this validation that you require, you know, I think we have a phone call. Richard, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good evening, guys. Thank you so much for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. <laughs> yes, to tell you how serious what Lani is saying is, eh? There was a wedding that was contracted. Um, the church was using as a rented apartment that was not registered in their name. These guys were married for like four or five years. And something came up. And it was discovered that the place they got married was, it was not the church property, but was a rented apartment church used, which the church later moved away from there. Do you know that marriage was terminated? Wow. It is serious. All of this pain is very serious. It's very serious. Go and replace your certificate. So thank you. Thank you. Are you kidding? Love me, there's a problem. So you cannot go and marry in a poor church. They must own the property. <laughs> That's why I said all the small, small church springing up. It behoves on you to ensure that they are properly licensed. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take more comments. <laughs> okay, so there is a comment here. What is legal is not moral. I may not say the religious institutions have no right to issue certificates. I'd rather say they lack legal backing. I want you to clarify this um, craze for ECOE. There are over 700 local governments in Nigeria. Can you clear the myth? Abi, is ECOE, is ECOE a special local government? And then there is another from Mrs. Adedeji from Bagada. Legal, legal. Trust me, with all the happenings in this world, protect marriage by making it legal. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Love me. Okay, there was, there was somebody who was happening on Ikoyi. And yes, all yes, yes. I just made Ikoyi registry an instance. There are a whole lot of federal marriage registries scattered all over Nigeria. No, how about Lagos? How many do we have in Lagos? I really don't know. I only know the one in Ikoi. Because there's one my I sister really got married to. Hey, my sister. What did you say? My sister got married in one in a... It was around the Ikeja Other Bridge. <laughs> it's, a, it's a local government. Ah. It's not valid. I hope she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me take a comment. Raphael, this is, not, this is actually... I'm learning because... Okay, Rafael Akori is um, a viewer from Zaria. Um, he says, marriage is a necessary evil that we cannot do without. If procreation is our watchword, what an advantage of faith from two parties of different backgrounds. Well, celibacy is not an option in, in this form of the world. I think we have a call. Tammy, are you there? Thank you for calling. Thank you. Um, thank you for the discussion. So please, my question is concerning... Um, the customary marriage. What is the proof uh, of is any certificate given if a marriage is conducted under that um, under that kind of um, environment rather than the the under the act? So, what is the evidence or proof of that? Okay, Lami, that's for you. Thank you, Tammy. Okay, if I heard her correctly, because um, I could barely hear her, she was talking about the proof of a customary marriage. Yes, do they give certificates? There is a law, right, hey. that says that when you get married under the native land custom, you must go to the customary um, court in your district to register that marriage. Ooh. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you don't even register it, there are ways to prove it. There were witnesses there that day. Uh -huh. Let me, right? I, want to, I want to bring Then the pictures. You Let must me... show where he was handing the bride price. <laughs> okay, okay, hmm. okay. Yeah, because I was going to ask you, price. I was going to ask you that if you have one bad belay in law now, that now decides that it's by by fire by thunder they want to prove that you were not married. Because this one you say escort to my father's house. What if there are no pictures, no videos, no nothing, but it happened and somebody is saying that it, it didn't happen? How will you That's now prove? Why it? the law says register your marriage. <laughs> Okay. You must register him. Okay. Even some, wow. some, all this Alaga Joko, Alaga Juru, and all that, they started issuing certificates. Hmm. 
to show that it actually happened. That they were the ones there. Okay. So do the do yeah that they conducted it. Do the states uh, so those are part them? of the those are part of the 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 the, the burdens of a customary marriage hmm. lack of proof. Hmm. So that's why people just do the statutory marriage. That's why some people think it's not valid. It's valid. It's just that it's more of a problem where you now have to prove and all that. So that's why it's easy for those men to now go and take another wife hmm. because of the issue of evidence. But if you can properly show that you were married, even if it takes 10 women to the registry, it's not like void hmm. and of no effect. Okay, so Lamia, why are you advising women to understand um, this subject of marriage, you know, especially, you know, in this climes that we're, you know, in, in the climb where we did right, for this Nigeria, it's almost, it's always the women that are the receiving end. So why are you advocating for women to understand, you know, whether their marriage is valid or not? Why? Well, it's, um, to be very candid, it borders mostly on succession rights. Hmm. Because when the man is alive to protect you, but when he's gone, how do you prove you were married to him? They will chuck you out of your marital home mm. if you have no, no nothing to show. So that is why the marriage under the act is preferred mm. because it offers more protection to the family. Because if a man who was married under the, mar the marriage act, the statutory marriage, if he doesn't have a valid will until the time he passes, then the administration of estate law of that state will now come into play where the spouse is given priority. Okay. As against native law and custom that does not recognize marriage when it comes to succession. Okay, so let me quickly take Sanusi's call. Period. I want to I want to answer, ask one last question, but let me take Sanusi's call. Question. Okay, you have a question. Quickly. Sanusi, thank you for joining us. Let's hear what you have to say. Quickly. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Thank you, Sanusi, for calling. Yes, uh, I want to address to please. Uh, she has not talked of the Islamic marriage or Muslim marriage, which is recognized by the constitution. She has not spoken on that one, please. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right, I think she did. She mentioned it. Okay, well, quickly, Jennifer. Okay, I think what, what I wanted to ask is, uh, let's say uh, I am married, and my husband decides to step out of our marriage to marry someone else, and we probably didn't go through the normal route of getting the normal um, divorce certificates and all of that. Is there a penalty for him? Or if a woman steps out, vice versa? If it's either spouse, you were still married to him, so yes. at the time you he stepped out, he was still married to you, right? Yes, yes. Then that's bigamy, which is seven years imprisonment. Hey, okay, let me answer Sanusi's question. But that's unfortunate, it's never been tested in any Nigerian. Oh, I uh, cannot know. Of that, any was why, that was why, that was why, going to bail on that was why, 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 that it's under native law and custom. That's the way it's grouped. Mm. So if you're married under the Islamic law, you can't take another woman under the statutory marriage unless you divorce under the Islamic law. Okay. Okay, let me, one so last I, question. One last question. If all of these things happened that the guy, the marriage was not valid and everything, I have lived with him 25 years, but he leaves a will, and that will states in that will that I have access to X, Y, Z. Would there, be, would, would there be any contention? Would, can they still contend? Please, can you come again, Uwa? If Uwa, he, please, can you come again? If he left a will, if he left a will, right? And that will, even though my marriage um, certificate is not valid, but he left a will that kept me inside that will, can it be contested in a law court? No. Since he gave it to you willing, yes, okay. you're covered. Okay. But okay. if he did not make a will and your marriage is void, hmm. you won't get anything. There will be problems. The law will not recognize you. All right. We, of I think we had a lot of fun. <laughs> love me, love me, Dudu. Our lady lawyer. Love By the way, she's not a guest, too. so she has shocked us. She's not a guest. She's our in-house Lady lawyer. All right, so let me, we're going to keep bringing this up. I didn't think we were going to have a very fantastic conversation. I was wondering, what is marriage, marriage, marriage? Lami is always disturbing us, marriage. <laughs> thank you, Lami. Thank you so much for a fantastic conversation. All right, so Waze was birthed. Thank you, Jennifer. Waze was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focus on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching ways and follow us on all our social media handles as this will be an all-year-round engagement. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. By marriage, the husband and the wife are one person in law. That is, the way 
sorry, that is the very being of, a, of the legal existence of a woman is suspended during marriage. This is the bit I do not understand. Why would my very being be suspended during marriage? All right, we'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs>